What is up YouTube? This is Tech D Reviews and in front of me I have the Samsung Galaxy S F8 Plus tablet. <laughs> it's a little tricky to say, but yeah, there it goes. This is that tablet. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it again because it's a tongue twister. But um, today, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys why I think this is one of the best budget tablets that you can get. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a steal on this tablet. And you know, not an actual steal, I mean like a good price. <laughs> um, I know this tablet has got overlooked in the past because of its price point. And a lot of people were saying, well, if it costs the same price as the S8 Plus, I'd rather get the S8 Plus because it has better specs. Yes, that is true. However, recently Samsung has discontinued the S8 line of tablets. And you can Google this. It's not no bull. Uh, it's very difficult to find that tablet now. Um, it's not even available on the Best Buy website, which I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to go ahead and open my web browser. Um, so here I have the S, uh, the S9 FE Plus tablet, and if I was to search for the uh, Galaxy, let's go ahead, Galaxy S8 Plus tab. As you guys can see, it'll come up with the Ultra, because uh, I guess, you know, they're trying to get rid of the Ultras, but I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, and no S8 Plus. So I get Best Buy's tactic, you know, get rid of the most expensive tablet, make some profit, but yes, yeah, Samsung has discontinued the uh, S8 line of the tablets. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys something that's going to save you guys some money on this tablet. And I'm going to tell you why I think this tablet is the best mid-range option and budget saver option. So let's go back in to BestBuy.com. And my apologies, I should have left it open in the first place. And excuse the noise in the background, they're doing construction nearby, so I apologize for that. So, yes, this tablet does go for 600 brand new. And again, I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, the S8 Plus goes for the same price, you get better specs, a better screen. But like I mentioned, it is discontinued by Samsung, and I don't know how Samsung's going to go about warranty on a discontinued product. Maybe you'll still get the updates, but I don't know about warranty. Anyways, that the Galaxy S9 FE Plus, if you buy it open box, you can get a great deal for it. And open box from Best Buy is basically products that might have been returned because it was a gift or maybe the person didn't like the gift. Or maybe the person was a reviewer like me and got the product to review it and then returned it. So it doesn't mean that the product is in bad condition or that it doesn't work or none of that no um so right now they have two different conditions they have good which might have like little tiny scratches that's barely noticeable and then they have excellent which is the condition that i got it in and as you can see you get a huge discount um this is the 128 uh, gigabyte version they have it listed at 498.99 in excellent condition which in brand new terms it is six hundred dollars so that's about a hundred dollar difference right um so my personal opinion is i would go with this one being that the s8 is uh discontinued and like i said you're getting a huge discount if you buy an open box you still get all the same great features that you would get in the sa plus and you know particularly all the great features that people look for in Samsung. Yes, you do get split screen with this. Um, like I said, you get all the S Pen features. Um, let's go ahead and uh, press that button for you guys to see. 
Uh, you know, you get all your um, S Pen features, your Smart Select, Screen Write. You know, you can do your sketching. Your uh, Pen Up is actually a coloring community, which I really like. And um, as far as specs wise, it has decent specs. And I'm going to go ahead and pull that up for you right now on the Best Buy website. So, no, it is not OLED. Uh, which I know that's a downfall. Uh, the S8 Plus does have OLED. But the screen is really decent, uh, in my opinion. It looks really crisp. And it has some vibrant colors. It's very responsive because there is 8 gigs of RAM running on this tablet. And it's going off the Exynos 1380. Which is, you know, not top of the line, but it's decent. Uh, that's the processor that it's running on. It's decent. And paired with that 8 gigs of RAM, it does a decent job. Like I said, not top of the line, but it gets the job done. Um, it has a fingerprint scanner at the power button. And, you know, it has different color options. Uh, the one that Best Buy is showing right now is the mint green. I have the gray version, whatever they call that. But, uh... The point of this video was to show you guys a great alternative, a great option, and a budget saver, which would be the Galaxy S9 FE Plus if you buy an open box. Um, if you can find the S8 Plus maybe on eBay or something, and you feel like that's the better option for you, go ahead. Get it. Uh, like I said, I don't know how Samsung's going to deal with warranties on a discontinued product. But um, if you really feel that that tablet is the best option, then go ahead and get it. I'm showing you guys uh, possibly the best mid-range tablet that you can get at a discount and has all the great features that Samsung users love. So this has been my review. Thanks for watching. Uh, excuse me, let's get that to focus. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like, and comment uh, if you like.